welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading. Okay, so <laughs> from the looks of it, you are dealing with three women here. Uh, I'm going to do it that way. So there's an older woman in the past, uh, dealing with a relationship with an older woman. There seems to be a fair-haired or blonde-haired woman. This could be even an older woman with white or gray hair. So there might be two older women that you're dealing with. And there is a younger woman over here, and she's got a dark complexion or a dark hair. So there are three women that you're dealing with. And below that, you've got the lily. Now, the lilies always in the Normans signify older women as well. So you've got some, fa some maybe some family issues going on over here because the lilies are usually about family issues. Uh, and it's got to do with um, something to do with the females or the women in your family that you're having issues with over here. Because the card immediately above it is the spear. So you're having some kind of issues uh, with regards to the females in your family. And they're causing a lot of upset for you over there. And this has been going on for a little while. Now, going into the future, you've got the bird perched over here, so you're waiting for news packages or a letter. So there might be something to do with these women. There is some communication that you're waiting to come in or some kind of dealings with them or some kind of outcome that you're waiting to happen with these women that you're working with. And you've got the wedge over here, so someone, someone trying to come between you and a friend or something that you want. So it seems like these women are causing some kind of hassle in you, preventing you from achieving something or standing in your way of getting... Uh, somewhere and they're causing a lot of heartbreak and a lot of problems it seems you can see this heart is bleeding over there uh, so there's a lot of problems with these women there's some kind of drama that's going on with them you're waiting for some kind of news or outcome from them or some kind of communication and it seems like one of them or, or maybe all of them are uh, creating a wedge or creating a rift between you and what you want so that's going on within that week Right. So I'm going to be drawing some cards from the um, Deviant Moon Tarot. So at the bottom of the deck, you've got the four of rods over there. So there are family issues that you are trying to deal with over there. Um, there could be problems within that family, or this is about reconciliation after going through a lot of problems or stress within the family. It seems like there was a lot of burdens and problems, and it looks like there might have been a falling out with somebody within the family, and it looks like you're making amends over there, or things are going to get sorted out. You can see news, you're waiting for news to come in over there, and maybe with this news you'll be able to cut things out that are not serving you. You've got that eight of... Um, eight of rods there at the bottom but there's also that crow coming in and she's got this big side over there uh, and she's trying to cut out these problems or these burdens so you, it seems like you know whatever news comes in whatever um, um, you're waiting for to come in once it comes in you're going to be able to cut uh, or detach from this particular situation and uh, move on and it looks like you might re resolve issues with somebody uh, you know things will get sorted out. Uh, you're going into position of stability. So if you're having problems with the home and you're having problems with somebody or a partner, it looks like there's a reconciliation that might be coming in for you over there. So what's going on with you? You've got the Queen of Swords and that's your card uh, and the Sun card over there. So you're dealing with a lot of problems and a lot of issues, but with that Sun card, it looks like things will sort themselves out pretty quickly. There might be a reconciliation coming in. So up in arms over here, you know, the sword is drawing blood. So whatever you're saying, uh, you know, just watch your words. They could be a bit cutting, a bit hurtful maybe. Uh, you've been through a lot of problems. You could have gone through a divorce or you could have gone through a temporary se separation. It looks like there's some kind of reconciliation that comes in. There's clarity that comes in, but things get resolved in a very positive manner over there with that sun card um so so you could have even been going through legal issues as well with that queen of swords over there but there's a happy outcome there's a positive outcome to whatever that situation was so there's been a lot of fighting and a lot of arguments and a lot of uh discord that has been going on over there uh with this uh, five of rods 
and you've been very, very stressed out by it. You can see not sleeping well at night, uh, being very anxious as well, uh, expecting the worst case scenario, expecting the worst outcome as well. So whatever this fighting and arguments and battles that you're going through at the moment is causing a lot of anxiety for you. But, you know, don't don't be so worried. And you're up in arms over there here, but it looks like there is a reconciliation that comes, you know, something gets sorted out over there. So what you want to do is just really focus on that work. You're only thinking about work. If this is a work situation that is going on over here, whatever you're being anxious about, whatever discord is going on, it looks like things are going to sort themselves out. And even with the sun card over there, there's a positive outcome to whatever work situation, if that's what's uh, going through, uh, you know, what's running through here, if there's any kind of legal issues, that even has a positive outcome as well. So, um, you know, there's news that you're waiting for some kind of news with regards to money or regards to work. You can see he's got this big wrench in his hand. So news, this is what you're waiting for, this is what you're expecting at the moment. So soon you'll be going to be very, very focused on that coin. So whatever, um, if you've been waiting for news of a, new, of a job uh, with this uh, page of pentacles, it looks like you're going to be working pretty soon at it. So uh, um, it seems like, you know, if you're expecting to get a job or you've had a job offer, it looks like you're accepting that job and you're going to be working pretty hard. Pretty long hours as well with that sun card. It's talking about working late, long hours over there. You're pretty heartbroken about whatever happened. You might have gone through some legal issues, some maybe some injustice. Uh, you're, very, you're crying about it. You're very, very upset about it. Uh, you know, you're still looking at the past, reviewing the past and crying over it. So going over and over it in your head. But it doesn't make it better. You need to actually leave those thoughts behind. Behind. The Ace of Swords is cutting things out completely, making a brand new start and having an inspiration, having an aha moment as well coming in for you over there. So this thing's fresh starts after going through lots of challenges, uh, lots of conflict. Uh, but you're taking a stand for yourself. You you stand. You know you're talking, um, you're talking the talk rather. So you are telling people where to get off as well. And you know I think they're a bit scared of you there with that uh, Ace of Swords. And that is your card. You know a brand new opportunity coming for you. You just want to move away from all the drama. You can see that Six uh, of Swords and there's the drama there going on. All the fire going on over there. And you want to move on to something better. So you might be thinking of doing some travel or even taking a job somewhere else or even moving home. But you really want to leave all this drama behind because it's caused a lot of heartache for you. Now going into the future, you've got the Queen of Wands, uh, the Four of Swords and the Strength of Cards. So you could be dealing with an Aries energy over here with the Queen of Wands uh, um, or a... Um, any kind of fire sign, really. Uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy over there. Maybe this person has caused all this drama for you. But then again, if this is your energy or you're coming through, this is about you accepting a new project, taking control over it, uh, multitasking, doing a lot of things, uh, you know, and uh, maybe even doing a lot of travel as well with that Queen of Wands. You've got that uh, Four of Swords over here. So if you're going through any health issues, you need to take some time out and you do need to heal. And this is also about healing after going through a lot of stress. Now, you've gone through a lot of anxiety over there. Um, where is that card? <laughs> there you go. Uh, this is the uh, Nine of Swords. So you can see that that Four of Swords means that you do need to take some time off and rest, recuperate, come up with a new plan. You can see those three swords in the background over here. And you've got that uh, the three swords here. So whatever this problem is, you need to put it behind you, set it behind you. And move forward with a new idea, a new plan. Make a brand new start with that brand new moon over there. But also get some time out. Take a holiday. Take a break. Take a step back from the situation. Maybe even, you know, isolate yourself from people for a little while and get up, come up with a new plan and a new strategy. And, you know, you need to face your problems head on. Don't be scared of them. You can see he's looking down the mouth of this little beastie. Uh, so you need to actually be really hands-on. Be very, very uh, bold and be very courageous and stand up for what you believe in. And, you know, this is about looking down that mouth of the of the, um, the beast. And so this is about facing those people and telling them exactly what you want. Don't be scared to stand up for yourself over there. You know, and even that Queen of Wands is saying, you know, stand up for yourself over there. Take control, take charge, and don't let anybody tell you what to do. So you need to get into that position. So, you yeah, know, being focused on that work, whatever's been going on, you need to set aside all that depression, anxiety, and, uh, you know, start um, um, being somebody with 
uh, you know, claws and teeth, really. So you need to come out there and show people that you are uh, a force to be reckoned with. You've got the Six of Winter as well. This is another card, uh, the same as the Six of Swords over here. So this is moving away. Challenging times are coming to an end, and you can now breathe a sigh of relief. Let the past go and embrace happier times ahead. So this is moving on. So you could be traveling on to do a new job somewhere else, or this could be just being, you know, just moving away from a difficult situation. Um, but it looks like there's a physical move over there. So this could be even going overseas as well with that six of winter. You got the star card over here. So it says that you're about to take a big leap forward in your life. Worry will be replaced by optimism and fear with hope and joy is coming home to roost. So all this anxiety that you've been going th through, all the fear that you've been feeling, everything that has been going through is about to come uh, to an end. And, uh, you know, things are going to start becoming more peaceful. You're undergoing some kind of major transformation over there. So things, peace is coming to you there. You seem to still be butting heads with somebody over there. So occasionally you may experience clashes with others. If you, if you decide the matter is worth your energy, then do what you can to minimize the conflict without sacrificing your goals or beliefs. So pick your battles wisely. This person seems to be very, very stubborn. It, doesn't, it might be a fire sign person because you've got the ram. It might be an Aries person that you're dealing with. Um, you may need to walk away from that conflict because maybe they're taking too much out of you. Um, and it looks like they're very stubborn and they're not going to listen to your point of view. So it's best to just walk away, take your energies with you and move on to something different. Uh, you know... Um, Minimize the conflict, really, and, you know, s cut them out of your life if, if it's not serving you anymore. Um, and, um, and you know, be courageous. Um, say what you mean and, uh, and do what you say and uh, don't allow these people to take advantage of you. And make sure that you're getting some kind of break uh, and don't let the stress uh, bring you down there. So I hope this reading has resonated with you. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, leave me some comments if it has. And thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.